can't believe you two took that raving lunatic seriously. What do you think this is? <laughs> It's a material that has never existed on Earth before, metallic hydrogen. Hydrogen is the simplest atom in the periodic table of the elements. It consists of a single proton with a single electron around it. At room temperature, it exists as a gas. But if you cool hydrogen down to low temperatures, it actually liquefies. And if I cool it to about just under 14 degrees, it forms a solid. Imagine my uh, fingers are molecules here with the two atoms. If you compress it to a high enough density, eventually you will get to a pressure or a density where the molecules dissociate and it forms an atomic solid. And this is a metal. Hey everyone, for lack of knowledge. And today I wanted to share with you an amazing article I came across, which would definitely be considered strange science. Now, when looking into this, it is noteworthy that multiple articles describe this process as alchemy. Now, alchemy is an interesting term to use because we know in the Middle Ages, people used alchemy, which was considered a forbidden art, to attempt to uh, make things that did not readily occur in nature. We would call that divination or using gnosis, uh, you know, spiritual knowledge or occultic knowledge to try to many times get personal gain. A lot of the time it was used to try to make certain metals into gold. Um, and this is also something that occurred in ancient days. It just didn't go by the name of alchemy. But I just thought it was noteworthy that that term was used. But anyway, to dig into this article, let me share it with you. A team of scientists say they have successfully turned hydrogen into a metal potentially confirming a prediction made 80 years ago. Now, I do want to state also that we know that hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table. It is the lightest of all elements, and in Earth's atmosphere, it does normally occur as a gas. Now, when we supercool it, it turns into a liquid. But before now, um, it, we have not had or any evidence to show us that there is a solid state. But what these scientists are saying is that they've created a solid state of hydrogen and that that solid state is a metal. But in 1935, scientists predicted that the element hydrogen could become a metal if subjected to enough pressure. Teams have been attempting to confirm the prediction ever since, but have not been able to construct a vice capable of squeezing the element enough without breaking the equipment. But a team of scientists at Harvard University published a paper this week in the peer-reviewed journal Science saying, they managed to squeeze hydrogen in a diamond vise to the point that the element became reflective, which is a key property of metals. Now, the study is not merely a parlor trick is what they're claiming. Metallic hydrogen is thought to also be a superconductor, meaning it could conduct electricity without any resistance. Electricity traveling through normal circuits loses energy to resistance over time, often in the form of heat. This is why it's harder to send electrical currents over long distances rather than short ones. But a current traveling through a superconducting material loses nearly zero energy. Superconductive metals are used to make the magnets for devices such as hospital MRI machines and particle accelerators such as CERN. But the trouble with many superconductors is that the materials now used need to be cooled to extremely low temperatures in order to work, which is expensive. It's also possible that metallic hydrogen material may be what they call metastable, according to the Science Magazine. This means that once it's formed, it may retain its metallic properties even at normal temperatures and pressures, like diamonds do. If so, it could conduct electricity at nearly 100% efficiency in normal conditions and circumstances. Again, this could dramatically reduce the cost of transferring electrical currents, meaning more powerful and efficient electric motors, and a far more efficient electrical grid. Now, scientists have been searching for such a material almost as long as they've known about superconductivity itself. So this would be like the holy grail to materials researchers. This is something they've been looking for for a while. 
and it could have some pretty impressive implications on our technology around us. Now, of course, um, certain articles do cite that the study does have its critics, one of the most notable being Eugene Gregorantz, who is a physicist at the University of Edinburgh. But it is uh, noteworthy that he has not produced any results to the contrary of these findings. So this was some amazing stuff. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I may find some more strange science to report on, but give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and let's not be destroyed for lack of knowledge.